Hi guys, how are you? If you're new to my channel, first of all, this is not my normal voice. This is a cold I brought back for me from New York State. Second of all, my name is Sarah. My channel is Stitching by Sarah. This is a channel about my little addiction of cross stitch. I want to thank all my returning viewers. I really do appreciate y'all that keep coming back. Um, had a great time in New York State and now I'm dealing with the weather change. So um, today I have the results of the giveaways from two weeks ago. I have two finishes. I have a start and then I just have a couple whips. And then a friend sent us some goodies that some of them I'll share with you at some point in time. Uh, I'm not going to do my featured FFO. Remember, if you want to be a featured friend, uh, send me an email with something that you're working on currently, um, something that you finished or something that you fully finished, and I'll gladly show it on my channel and so other people can see what you do. Uh, let's start off. I'm going to do it a little differently than I normally do. I'm going to do my giveaway winners first, and then I'll go into the rest of my stuff. Um, so hopefully you will see it if you are a winner. First one in no particular order is, uh, Trucking Along November by Stitching with the Housewives. This is Haley Briscoe. Haley is actually in the Samplers and Stitch and Stitch Along with me, the Jeanette Douglas, um, mini bouquet sampler. Um, Haley, I think I have your address from the Stitch Along. Um, if not, I will leave a message on your message or on your comment telling you to give me your address but I think I have it or at least your telephone number one of the two anyways Haley Briscoe and then there is peppermint bark by dirty Annie's the winner of this is Linda Lindsay Linda um, send me an email with your mailing address now I must, in all full um, disclosure, tell you I had to redraw names a couple times because uh, there are two of these patterns that only had two people that wanted them, and it was both the two ladies, and they had won something else for some reason that my YouTube comment generator really liked these two ladies, so I had to redraw other names because these two ladies were the only ones who wanted certain items. So, um, first of all, uh, let's see, this is, listen, honey, life's a stitch. This one is going to Sabrina. Sabrina, I have your address. I will mail that out to you. Second of all is, uh, Lizzie Kate Quick, Quick It, Merry Little Stockings. This one goes to Lisa Whitaker. Lisa Whitaker, can you email me your mailing address, please? Next is Trick or Treat by Carden, uh, Cottage Garden Samplings. The winner of this is Jennifer Lietzel. Jennifer, if you could get me your mailing address. Uh, my email address is in the drop-down box. Next is... Uh, Nora Corbett's, this is, let's see, Sea Flora. The keyword for this was mermaid, and this goes to Teresa Smith. Teresa Smith, I need your mailing address. These next two, I was so very excited when the names got pulled. Uh, this was one of them that I had to, I think this is one of them I had to redraw. Uh, yeah, I had to redraw. So this is the 2022 Christmas ornaments. The keyword was greetings. And this goes to Aunt Nancy. Aunt Nancy, I'm going to get that to you. Uh, let's see. Next one is the 2019 uh, Christmas ornament. The keyword was joy. And I was so ex very excited to draw this because Mrs. Wiggins, who has been with me from the very beginning, um, Mrs. Wiggins, you won this, and I don't think I've ever uh, had to give you anything, so I definitely need your mailing address. So if you could get that to me. And then there is Hands on Design Fresh Egg Farm. This one goes to Lord is True. 
And Lourdes, I have your address. I'll send that out to you. So congratulations to all my winners for the uh, one-year giveaway. All right. So two finishes. You should probably know what they are. Um, first is the Amy Brookins Designs Little Cuties. I did the penguin. This is what it looked like last time you saw it. And there he is. And he's just too cute. All right. So there's my little penguin. Next thing I got to do is I've got to fully finish them. <laughs> and then there is my, let's see, where is it? Winter White Sleigh. This is from the 2019 Christmas Ornaments. And that is by Fireside Originals. This is where it was last time you saw it. And this is where it is now. Fully finished. I don't know if you can see the little bling bling in there. Um, the fabric is 28 count. Picture this plus murmur. And I used um, Color and Cotton Old Lace as my white because I just pulled from my stash. And if you've been here, if you were here in the last couple of weeks, instead of using um, Krynik, I got some Petite Treasure Braid. And I must say I love it. So that is another thing that I've got to fully finish. All right. <clears throat> And my new start is from the 2021 ornament uh, Just Cross Stitch. And it is, do this so you don't see the actual pattern. Oops, do this so you don't see the logo. Um, this is by Knotted Tree Needlework. This is Santa's workshop, or Santa's wish list. Oops, sorry for the glare. Right there. So this is on 14 count ale by Picture This Plus. I worked on this in the airport in Detroit with our what, four or five hour layover. And I must say, I didn't do too bad because I forgot my cheaters. So I was using my bifocals and, you know, I was holding it out here, stitching. Because you can't see right here, you know. So I don't think I did too bad for, uh, let's see. It actually goes like this. Because that's his beard. It goes like that. Sorry, guys. So I, I don't think I did too bad considering that I didn't have my cheaters. Um, let's see, and I think I just pulled fab or floss from my stash to get that done. And I only worked on that for a couple hours, so I didn't do too bad. All right. Next is our friend Michael um, from Michael's Prayer. This is where he was last time you saw him. And this is where he's at now. I put in the wings on the angel. Right there. Um, I definitely think the wings are gonna get some of the, um, the accentuate that one of my friends at the Embroidery Guild gave me to try to use on my white letters. I think the angel wings definitely need the accentuate. As for the letters, um, we're still, I'm still thinking about that. But as I told you last time, I'm going to do all the stitching first and then worry about the letters. Um, the fabric is a 22 count by Stitch Me, unnamed fabric that I won from a um, Friday night fight night. And I'm using all of the called for except the white and I believe that's bamboo and if you're new to my channel um, 
and the white's been an issue with me and I'm going to try to figure that out after I do all the stitching. All right, so that's Michael. And then I pulled out, basically pulled out easy stuff this week. Um, stitching on Ada is easy for me. I picked up um, the Stargazer by Mirabilia. This is where she was last time you saw her. And this is where she's at now. Um, I stitched her hair there just to see what it would look like. I normally stop at a stop. I usually start my stitching at the top left. So starting in the middle is kind of weird at, for me. So I'm working my way up so that I can work my way down. Uh, the fabric is a 16 count uh, witching hour by pole stitches. Isn't that pretty? And I made my own conversion to the purple because the color that was called for was not showing up on my fabric. And I'm doing this as a stitch along with uh, a friend, Heather, the full disclosure stitcher on Instagram. And that's all my stitching. Uh, this week, uh, just before I left for vacation, actually, you know, like, like five o'clock in the afternoon or whatever it was, uh, found something on my porch and uh, it was a package I wasn't expecting. Our friend Denise sent us some more goodies. Some She said I can keep what I want and share what I don't want with you guys. So first of all, look at this, isn't this cute? Cross Stitchers uh, Quilt Block Collection. Isn't that cute? And they're all very tiny by the looks. Uh, let's see. Um, 48 by 48. They're all 48 by 48, so they're really tiny. So, uh, that is for me. Well, I'll worry about that later. And this looks like it may have been a free pattern from Ink Circles. This is, let's see, right there. It is May 2007 Celtic Knot. And it says on the bottom, distribute free for personal use only. And it came with a, a June Celtic Knot bookmark, but I am not showing you the actual pattern because it all it is is a pattern. Um, and it says also distributed for free. Um, see more patterns at www.inkcircles.com. So maybe go there and see if they still have them. There is some um, canvas. Um, I probably won't use that. Maybe I'll see if my friend or my cousin, Beth, not Beth, Betsy. See if my cousin Betsy will want it. And then, well, this is cute. This says Hopscotch Runner. Look at this. And actually, this is doubled. See? So I can see maybe some cute um, Christmas designs in there and put this out for Christmas. So there's that. Um, cross stitch crazy. This is from, let's see, May of 2008. I looked through this and I didn't see anything that I want. So I will share this with you guys at some other time. <coughs> Excuse me. And then there's um, this dimensions kit, Tuscan view. Something tells me I have this already. If I don't have it, I'm keeping it. If I do have it, I'll give it away. And then there happened to be two of these, um, what is it called? I wanna, oh, antique teddies. They're the exact same teddies, but uh, let's see, one says sunset and the other one doesn't say who. 
So, um, I'm not sure. Unless my mom wants one of these, I'll probably give both of these away. All right. So that's, that's it. I hope y'all had a good week. We had a wonderful weekend away. Uh, my daughter, my best friend, and my sister. Um, it was for being towards the end of October in upstate New York. It was beautiful weather. Um, went on Seneca Lake for a boat ride on Sunday. It was gorgeous up there. Actually, I'm going to post, um, put some pictures right here of the... Um, my foliage. If you are like me, well, I'm originally from up there, but now I'm down here in Texas. If you don't get to see fall foliage, it is beautiful. Uh, it, I think it's even prettier when there's more reds, but I'm going to put pictures right here of some of the foliage so you can see what it looks like. pretty all right guys um i'm gonna get going i don't have a lot to tell you um i don't think i um i don't know if i work next friday if i do i'll tape thursday and do my usual post-its for whatever time i feel like posted on friday um they're pulling me back to the floor. I told you I got a new job and um, I was going to do some like uh, some office type stuff. But they're pulling me back to the floor because night shift is we've got two people out on um, FMLA and we've got people that have left. So night shift is really, really low on workers. So they're pulling people from day shift. And so I get pulled back to the floor. So um, my boss had asked if I could work either Wednesday or Friday and I told her whatever. I'm I'm a team player. Just pull me back and put me back in. So um I hope y'all have a good week. If you're up north, enjoy that fall foliage. I love it up there during the fall. So I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>